It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey and other comics from all over. We came to Japan to leave the US, where just because you have a phone, Karen, filming minimum wage workers, Karen, and trying to get minimum wage workers fired, Karen, you think you are right. No, Karen, you are never right, Karen. And neither are you, Becky. The Talk Funny podcast from Nagoya Radio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Bailey. Namaste. My name is Mark. Osaka name is Mike. Hey. Talk Funny. Yeah, hey. So, Mike uh, is back, and I'm Mark Bailey, and this is Talk Funny. Welcome back, Mike. Oh, it's nice to be back. How was Sweet Hemp? Uh, you know, it was okay. They let me go outside in the yard a few times. I could you know, look at the sky and think about what I'd done. In popsicles or? Uh, well, they had some of uh, those uh, parms. You know the parms? Those are the really good ones with the ice cream in the middle. Oh, yeah, those so, are good. Yeah, no, it was, it was a great experience. So, a lot of great stories to add to my routine. So, we're just referencing the, the last uh, couple episodes. People saying, did Mike have a stroke? Or <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying in my head, anyways. <laughs> is, is Mark helping Mike uh, prepare for the Biden interview and the, <laughs> the Biden debate? It's a good thing it wasn't televised because uh, it would have been even worse. So uh, we're a little bit more sober this time. Mm-hmm. Not to get too nerdy, but uh, we do like talking about these things sometimes. I don't know if you ever saw the Twilight Zone from the 80s that had Robert Klein in it. And it, it was about language changing right before his eyes. Oh, English, wow. English language kept changing in front of him. It, like he was asking his daughter something like, um, how was school today? And she said, oh, she goes, it was dog, which mm-hmm. means great. It was dog. He goes, it was dog. She goes, yeah, isn't that good? And he goes, is that good? <laughs> she goes, it was dog. It was very good. And, okay. And then, so how was your teacher? Oh, Mr. Cornstuffin? He's great. <laughs> Cornstuffin? Is that his real name? Yeah, why? What's wrong with that? I'm just asking that. I don't know. <laughs> and then there's an emergency. And then the, uh, the wife goes, hurry, we have to clasp to the sugar. We have to what? We have to clasp to the sugar. She broke her nose. Uh, uh, we should go to the hospital. Why would we go there? <laughs> and at the end, they're, they're trying to save the girl's life, and all the doctors and nurses, he can't understand any of them at the end. That's a fast it's changing. Mm-hmm. So I have examples of that since I lived here since the 90s in Japanese and in English. Mike, how do we, no joke, how do we pronounce the word B A L L E T? It's a form of dance. A ballet, ballet yeah. Ballet. Mm-hmm. Also in French, ballet. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard ballet here? Um, ballet no, class. I have not. I've heard it three times in about a month. Really? Yeah, one of them is the daughter of a friend of mine, and. She's 10, and I said, what kind of dance class do you go to? And she said, ballot. And I said, oh, ballet. No. <laughs> ballot. Okay, is it dog? <laughs> it's closer to the French pronunciation, you know? Because yeah. they love pronouncing the T's at the end of words. Yeah, like when they say Toronto, they say Toronto, <laughs> right? They say Toronto. Some people do in Japan, actually. That's what I mean, Japanese people. they've been taught to drop the final well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Japanese people but do it's that. wrong. It's, it's wrong. They say Toronto. We don't even say Toronto. We say Toronto. Right. It sounds like Toronto, Albania. You know the joke where the guy goes down to New Orleans and says, I know some people say New Orleans, some people say New Orleans, and you know, I just, I'm trying the food here, and I just want to know how, how do you pronounce it, so you tell me where I am. But say it slowly. So the clerk says, you're at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so ballad is one of them I think has changed. I think what happened in, in Japanese, in Japanese English for some reason, I think what happened is that the ballet teachers don't speak English or French, and they just know the technique. But you would think, so they, so they just see it in print, ballad. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes people, one of my friends used to say, man, it was chaos today. I'm like, mm-hmm. chaos? chaos. What's that? How spell it? C-H-A-O-S. Oh, chaos? <laughs> Your language skills are chaos, my friend. Chaos. It was chaos today. Is that that town in Oregon that was like Black Lives Matter? <laughs> no, that was Chaz. Chaz was so chaos. Chaz was so chaos, chaos man. Chaz was chaos. Chaos, it sounds like a dog or something. Like yeah. a chihuahua, chaos. So you can tell that's someone who's never heard it pronounced correctly. I had another one a long time ago where I sent to a uh, Japanese uh, superior, uh, Japanese, I don't like using the word, <laughs> a, Japanese, <laughs> uh, a Japanese boss. He definitely wasn't my superior. <laughs> and, and he insisted on writing in English. So I said, you told me you didn't get this report. It's the third time that I've sent it, so I, I resent it today. And then he wrote back, there's no reason for you to be resentful. <laughs> he read it as, I sent it three times, so I'm sending it again today. I resent it. I resent it today. Nice. So that's one example. Ballot. It's change, changing in Japanese English. Remember in the 90s? Maybe you don't remember, but uh, on radio, I had to read announcements for safety driving. Mm. Let's be safety drivers. You ask the students now, they don't know what that means. Mm. They don't use it anymore. They listen to the radio now, on say Unten. Mm-hmm. They just use the original Japanese. They don't mm-hmm. say safety I, I've asked students and I've asked teachers mm-hmm. that uh, they're younger than me and they don't remember that in the 90s. Mm-hmm. So that's changed in Japanese. Another one is, like in English, cute used to mean bow legged. Oh, did really? you know that? I yeah. didn't know that. Nice used to mean stupid. Oh, really? Yeah. So in the 90s, I don't know if you've ever heard this, seen this, notice this change. In the 90s, the breed of dog used to be called Shibuken. Mm-hmm. Shibuken. And I used to make jokes saying, where do you want to go on the weekend? Shibuken. <laughs> But now if you say Shibuken, they think you're mispronouncing it. It's the same kanji, uh-huh. but they say Shibainu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they say Shibainu. And I don't understand why it changed, but it did change. Uh-huh. It's really scary because mm-hmm. I see the language changes. It's not dog at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the callback. <laughs> callback, people. So much that he was behind some guy at a convenience store, right? 
that's buying the whole store. Yeah. And he's buying the 7 <laughs> Eleven. That's a parody I used to do in radio. Yeah. There's a sadness I feel <laughs> when I look toward the veal, and my heart it is longing for chicken. <laughs> There's a woman who knows that many stop blows, <laughs> and she's buying this 7-Eleven. Yeah. Okay. It's nice that at least the convenience stores haven't changed that much. Yeah. 7 is still 7-Eleven. Are there any that have disappeared? Like Daily Yamazaki, there aren't very many left. Right. I see very few mini stops. A mini stop is also in, yeah, short um, quite a bit. Okay, quick jump about something that's happening. Uh, my daughter was getting married, I think I mentioned before. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm, maybe. <laughs> you know, I officiate weddings sometimes, and I'm kind of Jewy, catchy, you know, Jewy kind of uh, frugal. So I said, you know what would be great is, seriously, we could not pay some other fake minister and I'll just do it for free we don't want like Timmy doing it you know I mean you're, you're not going to get a real religious but Mark it's not going to be a real fake wedding then. no no you're not going to get a religious person to do it here no we're definitely not getting a rabbi here definitely not a priest and you gotta go to do those, those classes for like you have to go to do classes and be taught by a priest about marriage which is kind of interesting <laughs> kind of like being taught by English by someone who doesn't speak English you know what I mean <laughs> yeah good point about it's like getting a a paraplegic to teach you how to ride a bicycle <laughs> exactly now this is how it should go yeah so I said, think about it. If you actually don't want me to do it, I'm fine with it. And she goes, uh, we talked about it. We don't want you to do it. And I said, I'll do your next wedding then. <laughs> I'm sure she loved she that. She didn't like that. No, she didn't. What? She didn't laugh. <laughs> Did you get the death stare? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting out of line. We had uh, Father's Day. It wasn't a celebration of Father's Day. It was Meet the In-Laws Day. Yeah. And they wanted to do it on a Sunday night. And, you know, I got Mondays are bad days for me. I have mini, mini coma. I'm in a coma by the time I'm done, you know. Yeah. And you got to go way out of town too for that, right? Yeah. And this, this is in the middle of nowhere. And they said, well, we'll start at 9.30. We have dinner at 9.30. I'm like, I get up at 7, man. No, that's And I'm an old brutal. guy, and uh, I go to bed as early as I can if I have five coma in case I don't sleep well. And she said, well, it's always about you. It's always about you. And I said, you know, actually, I, I had some leg pain. My thighs were just paralyzed for about a week. I don't know what happened. Oh, my God. Really hard pain. And I couldn't move them. I couldn't sit. I couldn't climb stairs. I couldn't walk. But I worked through all that. Oh, my God. So I had a walker. I showed up in a walker. She goes, always the drama. Always the drama. <laughs> I said, no, my, my legs really hurt. That's why. I was the drama. <laughs> and then she said, well, I'm glad you found time in your busy schedule to come. Well, you know, very sarcastically. So I waited till the end. And nobody wished me happy Father's Day. Oh, so God. at the end, I said, so you're glad I came, right? By the way, happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> said no one at the table. <laughs> And you put on your neck brace and you walked out. Yeah, I was, I was going to bring a Filipino nurse, seriously, for the drama. I, I actually was going to do that. I, I'd have to pay for her taxi. Uh, and then she'd just be sitting around not eating dinner. Yeah. And then it's also weird, like, how do you know a Filipino nurse? <laughs> she just comes whenever you have the food? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, just uh, someone in at the KFC, it does a trick. Yeah, this is shabu shabu, you know how much that would cost? Oh, God. I should have picked that up. All right, oh. it's Mark Bailey, Mark Miller, and Fox Funny. <laughs>